So, did you know that you can take actual screenshots inside your Godot game with just a few lines of code? This can be a nice way to let players save some souvenirs of their latest adventure. For example, in the game I'm currently working on, an idle game about stars and constellations called Lightem, I've added a basic photo mode that allows you to easily take a screenshot of the constellations you've created and of the unique shape of your sky. Oh, and by the way, if you're curious about Lightem, you can wishlist it on Steam, and there's a free demo available. But anyway, whatever game mechanic you want to do using screenshots, taking one in Godot is as simple as writing these two lines of code. In short, here, we first make sure that we wait for the screen render to be finished, so that we actually have something to capture, and then we get a reference to the current game viewport, which is basically what renders everything on screen. We use this getTexture method to extract the last frame that it just rendered, and finally, the getImage function converts this intermediary viewport texture resource into a real image, and the final part saves the image on the disk. Oh, and note that here I'm using the user prefix in the save path. This is a Godot specific path shorthand that allows you to refer to a given folder on the player's computer without having to worry about the specifics of the current OS. In a nutshell, the exact folder does depend on the OS they're on, but Godot will auto resolve the user prefix to a particular folder for you, as detailed over here in the docs. Now, of course, if you want, you can put this code in a function that you can then call when a given input is pressed, for example, and maybe you'll want to inject the current timestamp in the image name to avoid overwrites and to help players sort their pictures afterwards. But in any case, there you go. You now know how to take screenshots in a good game and save them on the player's disk. I really hope you liked this quick tip, don't hesitate to react in the comments, and subscribe to the channel to get even more videos. And of course, a huge thanks to my Patreon members for the support, and to you for watching. And as always, take care.